So I'm sitting here looking for something inspiring to tell you um, about what happened in the week, what uh, we expect to happen in the next week. It's Sunday the 12th by, just for what it's worth, 12th of March. That's the bird saying hello in the background, doing its best impression of an African grey. So, sitting here trying to think of something positive, and um, while I'm sure there are things, it's relatively difficult. There have been a number of things in the week that are pointing towards the general political instability and um, the, the general instability societally of what we are living in currently. The other night we had a discussion with the people that are out patrolling, those that are interested in doing something in, well, able as well, interested in doing something in the community. And it's quite obvious that they also see the problems, although they are probably not as immersed in it as they could be, which is a good thing. Because the amount of energy that you do throw at it um, definitely impacts on your sense of reality and life and all of that. Anyway, let's not get too philosophical about it. Part of that discussion was that I was going to look at making short videos to try and bring attention to the situation, try and motivate people to get involved, um, and so on. One of the problems in the past, of course, has always been, it's not a problem, it just is the way it is. My approach to people is that if they want to get involved, they should get involved. But one of my concerns is that people are not seeing the need to get involved. And I'm not sure that we can convince them. I think the need to get involved and do things in the community and try and assist where you, where you can in order to make things better, in order to make things a little bit easier, life a bit smoother, maybe like life the way it used to be. I think one of the things required for that is that you actually open your eyes and see what is going on in reality. And a lot of people are not prepared to do that. They're not prepared to face reality in those terms. They're quite happy with their head in the sand. But then I suppose that this is not a new phenomenon. I suppose this is a a thing that is millennia old. Um, I joked about it at the, the meeting, the discussion the other night, about 2,000 years ago, there were a couple of Romans probably having the same discussion with the same concerns. And if it wasn't Romans, it was some other bunch. I'm not sure that we as humans have learned yet to capitalize on our mistakes which is pretty sad when you consider how uh, intelligent we are supposedly anyway it is what it is all right so we have a situation in the area where we are uh, missing a ward councillor the ward councillor has resigned Peter Henning and he did a fantastic job through the years finally has gotten to a point where he can't do it anymore we have in the interim between the next by-election and now we have an interim councillor who is with the greatest respect I think inexperienced and out of her depth I don't believe that she will bring much to the game at the moment certainly not in the short term um, it is what it is. We all just carry on doing what we can do with the contacts that we have and trying to get through the, the chaos, as, chaos as best we can.
controls are having a good effect from a crime perspective the, there's an improvement or a downturn in it to some extent the cable theft has moved off into different areas it's still occurring um, but that is uh, that has improved it will return it's a cyclic thing the wheel turns and it will come back and we will need to put in more effort and this is one of the points I made about the uh, patrols the other night was that you know the people will eventually get tired it's not a sustainable thing the people will eventually get tired they see the improvement and of course <clears throat> then that impacts on their uh, what, how they see the necessity to to carry on the effort but again that's human nature and we will just deal with it as we can as it comes up Yesterday, there was an interesting little turn of events, which is not surprising. It was a, um, one of the political parties, that mob with the red shirts, decided that they were going to come along and start protesting about a piece of land up in Petit. And um, we went along and had some discussions with them, expressed the behavior got them to disperse eventually um, obviously with the assistance of EMPD and SAPS which was greatly appreciated and it's nice to note that we have now a good working relationship with both EMPD and SAPS and uh, I can tell you that a year ago would that wouldn't have happened um, a year ago the outcome would have been very, very different. So that is an improvement. The outcome of that whole thing is more political discussion uh, in the week on Monday, because these are politicians. Unfortunately, those on the ground, the ones that are involved in the acting on the ground, and, and I say acting because it is, it's like a game to them. They... The reason they're doing it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> the fact is that they are doing it and that we need to be aware of it. It's very close to home. It's right on our doorstep. It's in fact in the area. And it's a testing... Uh, type scenario where they are just feeling it out, seeing the response, gauging what they have to do and how to navigate that going forward. And I would urge you to all be very aware of who is around you on your plots, who you employ, uh, what you see, all of these things. Don't just take note of them, actually report them, put them on the group, put those things on the group and don't be paranoid about it, be, but be realistic. There's no point in being paranoid. This is Africa after all. It is what it is. And if by now you have not discerned the nature of life here, then maybe somewhere else is the place for you. There's no value in being paranoid about it, but there's, there's great value and reward in being realistic and learning to be realistic and I think that's that's an important thing that many people would do well to learn they've had lots of opportunity you have had lots of opportunity to learn it but there have been other things that have been more important like survival and it's understandable but the face of things is now changing and you're going to need to get on top of it. You're going to need to get on top of the way you see things around you and the reality of how you live in this time, in this country. There are examples of it, all of this, from 
the rest of the continent all the way down from the north. <clears throat> you would do well to learn some of those, those things and start paying proper attention to what's going on around you. The, the obvious um, result of not doing so is ending up in a situation like the rest of the people that didn't pay attention, those people to the north. The other problem, of course, is that you have little control over the game at that level, at, at that political level, nationally or regionally, unless you are involved in it. And I would suggest that you become involved in some way that you can, and don't do it in a way that fragments any effort that is existing. Try and lend your energy to the existing effort. Even if you don't agree with all of it, a combined effort against what you see as being a problem is going to be more effective than running off and starting your own political party. All that does is fragment any opposition. So, this was supposed to be a two minute video. And I think, uh, <laughs> I think my ability to do two minute videos is non-existent. So here's a 12 minute video about me waffling about Sunday. Give some thought to the rest of your week and what you do, how you interact with people around you and the community, the effort that you put into the community, even though you think it might not be your problem to fix in reality, the situation in which you live is dictated by how you interact with those people around you and those people that are putting in effort around you. So I would suggest you give that some proper thought and see what you can do to change your immediate reality. The alternative, of course, is that you can expect somebody else to do it. Or you can sit around and do nothing and pretend that you, because you pay your rates or taxes, or that everything will be all right. Well, if you think that, then your delusion is complete.